Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project for Make Magazine. As a former DJ and somewhat of an audiophile, I love the sound of music and everything it takes to get it into my ears. Well, if you've ever been to a concert or sporting event, there's a good chance you've seen what's called a loudspeaker array. Now, this is basically a series of speakers that are designed to disperse the sound to multiple locations, and there's some pretty wicked designs for speaker arrays. While this makes a lot of sense for a large venue, there's also a practical application in something like your home environment because it creates a pretty cool sound displacement. Well, today we're going to make our own low-cost spherical speaker array out of some speakers and salad bowls. Follow along and build your own. The Ball of Sound project by Michael Zabinski can be found in Make Volume 11, where you'll find a ton of other great projects. So head on over to MakeZine.com and subscribe now. There's only a few materials needed to build your spherical ball of sound, and one of those is a pair of six-quart salad bowls or mixing bowls. And, of course, you'll need some speakers. I picked up some 4-inch full-range 8-ohm 30-watt speakers, and you will need 8 to complete this full ball of sound project. We'll create the first location, which is logically on the bottom of the bowl. So lay your speaker down and make sure that you measure it out completely. I used a compass to draw a full circle and then out to the garage. Our Dremel will do most of the work as we cut through the first hole carefully. Cutting through plastic with a Dremel always leaves rough burrs, which come off fairly easily, so make sure you remove all of the burrs around a hole. And then I got a small file and filed around the hole just to make sure all the burrs were gone. Be sure to test that first hole with your speaker and make sure the size is just about right. Now we're going to use the piece that we cut out as a template. And we're going to uh, mark our other three holes in the one half of our ball of sound and then go ahead and cut those out as well. Now it's time to mark the holes for our speaker. And that's done by holding the speaker up. And then I just used a Sharpie to make four dots where I will drill out the holes for my nuts and bolts that will hold the speaker on. Now one thing you're going to notice is we're trying to attach a flat speaker to a curved object and that's going to leave a gap in there which we really don't want. So I used some small weather stripping and ran a ring of it around the speaker hole to seal up that air gap. I chose some black bolts because I thought they would have a better looking finish for the end result and then using some lock washers and nuts I attached my speakers. The last part you'll need is two 8-position speaker terminals, and we'll use these to attach our speakers to our music source. Now, while you could get away with using crimp-on speaker connectors, I wanted a more permanent installation, so I soldered my speaker wire to my speakers. Now, remember, there's a positive and negative for each speaker, so be sure to check the markings on your speaker wire, or else you're going to have phasing problems when you're done. Then run the speaker wires through the hole that you cut out for your 8-position terminal, and complete your connections on the terminal again. Be sure to remember which is positive and negative and make that match for every connection. Attach your speaker terminal and you've completed one half of the ball of sound, but you need to make one more. The finishing touch is to turn this into a ball of sound, which we've done by attaching both halves together with some nuts and bolts. And now it's time to hook it up to the stereo and take a listen. <laughs> The ball of sound definitely cranks, and for the, uh, the final touch and the most practical application would be to take your ball of sound and hang it somewhere where all those glorious sound waves can bounce around your house. There's the ball of sound. Why don't you make one? We'll see you next week with another weekend project.